There are a lot of job shops out there who might be considering entry into 5-axis machining. But where do you start? And do you really need full 5-axis capabilities, or will 3 plus 2 do? Jeff Hervé from Methods Machine Tools gave us his tips for entry-level 5-axis. This is our new product that we're introducing here at IMPS. It's actually an MB650U, so it's a, it's a universal 5-axis. It does all simultaneous 5-axis machining. So somebody who's looking for 5-axis, this is actually the perfect choice to get somebody started in 5-axis. The way we package this machine, what we want to be able to do is offer a, offer a customer to a machine that gives them everything they need to do full 5-axis work. What we don't like to do is, is uh, have a bunch of options that, oh yes, you need this later, or you might need this later. So we try to offer a machine fully packaged so the customer, once he gets it on his floor, he can do everything he needs in the 5-axis arena. So for example, standard comes a 15,000 RPM air oil spindle. On top of that, is it's a dual, a dual contact spindle, so you get face and taper contact for rigidity. Uh, and you know, for the spindle when you're doing actual cutting. And then on top of that, we have uh, a, a cooled spindle motor. So for example, we have a, a liquid cooled motor. And then uh, in addition to that, we have a, um, a spindle chiller. So the, so the price point, the machine is uh, $279,000, but it comes with everything. If you look at the uh, Z-axis, it comes with the Z-axis scale, X-axis scale, Y-axis scale, also comes with the B and C-axis scale. So all those things combined, it, uh, it really what's needed for high accuracy machining. We sell Yazda, for example, so their high accuracy is different than what we would consider high accuracy here, right? Because high accuracy is le uh, a relative. It's nice is when customers come to us, they're looking to solve a problem, right? It doesn't matter if it's a high-end customer or if it's a low-end customer. Most of our customers need to solve some problem. So our goal is to solve that problem for them. Uh, we want to be able to make sure that we're giving them everything they need to solve the problem. So, for example, a, a customer six months down the road, they might bump the machine. And when they bump the machine, they have to I, I obviously reset it because we have something called center point control. So we actually have standard, the kinematic ball, the probe, and the software. So if the customer does bump it six months down the road, they can reset it. And a lot of our competitors offer that as, a, as an optional feature. We actually have that as a standard feature. And then, like the tool setter, we have a laser tool setter that's standard. Uh, you know, we, again, we want to make sure that when a customer gets the machine, they have what they need. So the tool setter actually comes standard. Uh, on this particular machine, we're doing an impeller, right? An, an impeller, you know, shows you that you can do that complicated work. So if, you, if you're doing dental or if you're doing, you know, um, some cavity in dye mold, you can do all that type of work and get a de decent surface finish. You know, you can get into those. A, a lot of times with 5-axis, you need to shorten the tool and you need to get into uh, you know, those fine areas that you can't get to in a normal application. So 5-axis gives you the ability to, to get into uh, different industry segments or different market segments that maybe another machine might not be able to get into. And my advice would be, for most customers, if you can get away with a 3 plus 1 or a 4 plus 2, do it, right? Uh, you know, certainly 5-axis uh, has its place, but it's in the market that 5-axis serves, it's really maybe 25 to 30 percent of the market. So if you can get away with a 3 plus 2 or you can get away with a 4 plus 1, you should go that way. Because most programming systems actually are more efficient doing 4 plus 1 or 3 plus 2 rather than go to full 5. So if you can get away with it, do it. But in those applications where you absolutely need 5, this is the right machine to do it. And what we've done also is, is we've combined the fun of control. We have a, a, a very broad customer base that believes in FANUC. We sell FANUC. And that's kind of who we are. So when a customer looks at us, they know that we're going to be offering FANUC. So with this control, it's, it's a 31i MB5, but it comes with a thousand block look ahead. It comes with a data server. It comes with AICC, and it comes with a, a CF card, a two gigabyte CF card. So it has a control horsepower that the customer needs to do the most dynamic part. So we're, we believe it's going to it's going to hit the mark based on capability, functionality, and price.